Hello everyone. So today we're going to be doing some more item pickups and I've already done a previous video on that so I'll be linking uh, that up here in the upper corner for you guys. And uh, alright so we're going to go ahead and get started by diving into the uh, directory here under third person cover shooter, assets, gun, and shell. Now let's go ahead and pull this game object into our scene view. And I'm going to resize this. For the scale, I want to set the X, Y, and Z scales to 3. And I'm just going to position it up just a little bit. And um, so another thing we want to do for the material, uh, we're going to go ahead and use the shell material here. And I just want to duplicate this. And I'm going to just rename this uh, shell ammo. And then I want to change the color to something a little brighter. Uh, you can change this to whatever you want. I'm going to use yellow or like a goldish color. I think that looks pretty good. We'll go with that. And then uh, let's go ahead and drop this on our game object here. Uh, that should be good. And all right, that looks great. Alright, so, and if you've had a chance to check out the other video for the item pickup, uh, the script that we're going to be doing for the new one here, uh, under create C sharp script, um, I'm going to name this one ammo pickup. Um, so it's essentially going to be the same sort of script. It's not going to be too much different, uh, but there is a little bit of a nuance that I do want to go over in regard to the cover shooter namespace and so I will leave a link for that up in the upper right hand corner uh, but essentially uh, what we're going to be doing for the cover shooter namespace is we're going to put that in a using context so up here in the usings uh, let's go ahead and add the using cover shooter uh, and that's essentially like taking the namespace, how we're wrapping uh, what's down here in the public class. Um, instead of wrapping that in the cover shooter, we'll put that in the using. All right, and so uh, continuing on here, let's go ahead and add a reference to our public gun. And um, you can name this gun. I don't know why I named it revolver. Uh, you can just keep it simple with gun. Um, so anyways, yeah, so I have the public gun reference as revolver. I have a public int and this is referencing the bullets that I want to add to the inventory. Um, so with that added uh, I do want to clear out the rest of the stuff. It's really not necessary for this uh, little simple script um, and I do want to cover the on trigger or copy the on trigger enter and I'm going to paste that here in my ammo pickup script and we would just want to change this one line here on line 16 uh, so we're going to add the int for the bullet inventory and for the revolver uh, we're going to reference that dot and you can see the bullet inventory is the option here provided uh, so go ahead and save that come back to the editor here and let's drag the script on we'll go ahead and add say 100 bullets here and now for the the weapon uh, or the gun that we want to add uh, so I'm going to find the inventory here the character inventory and we're going to just for easy access we're just going to click on it here so it'll dive right into the skeleton of the character that we need and I'm just trying to locate the bullet inventory so uh, if I scroll up here it's under the thousand so there it is uh, for the thousand uh, bullet inventory you can keep that there uh, or change it to zero that's what I would advise you know obviously change that to zero and now go back to the shell and we want to drop that gun so it grabs that component or the script and it'll reference the bullet inventory so when we that on trigger enter collides here with the box collider uh, we'll set that as a trigger when the player collides with that uh, it'll add the hundred bullets to the gun inventory alright so we'll go ahead and test this out um, 
Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave the, those down in the comments below. Uh, thanks again, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.